Good morning, it's the uh, 18th of May and I'm just going to go and see how close the old uh, Wheelers Bay Esplanade, the coastal defences that have been being repaired over the last couple of years. Uh, how close they are to actually opening? I'm sure I won't be able to tell just by looking, but uh, I'm going to walk down there anyway, so come along with me if you're interested. So just walking, this is a free car park at Wheelers Bay. So you don't need to go to Dudley Road and pay money. Although I think the Dudley Road car park's open at the week, or is free at the weekends at the moment. Don't quote me on that. But uh, let's go this way. So yeah, you can park free down here, Wheelers Bay car park. And uh, there's a little sign. I don't know if you can read that. Bit of a drizzle in the air. So... Don't really want to get wet. So kind of looking southeast now out to out towards Bond Church. Lovely still day. Still starts of the day anyway. See if there's any migrants in this area of shrubs. Can't see any. Can hear house sparrows, so it's good to see their little colony is still doing well here. There's not many colonies left in Ventnor of house sparrows. Just uh, bumped into another subscriber to the channel. It's always nice to actually meet people who are watching the videos. Uh, we recognise, it's very nice. I will do a video on that one of these days. Um, but yes, definitely always nice to... Oh, I'm supposed to zoom along there. I'm still learning how to use this little camera. There we go. That's as far as it's going to zoom. Go to the Teapot Cafe just there. I don't think it's open today, given the weather. It may be. Um, I'm not sure what their opening times are, but the Seapot in Wheelers Bay. It's definitely a really good little cafe to go to. Nice little decks and little sheltered huts and outdoor tables. Do lovely food. Nice teas and coffees, lattes and whatever you're into. So yeah, definitely recommend them. And hopefully once this Esplanade thingy along here is open, People will start walking backwards and forwards along here. Um, it's been closed for it's probably two years now. I'm not sure, it's only closed all last summer, um, which really impacted local businesses. So, uh, yeah, if you have a free moment and if they're open, come down to the Seapot Cafe. Anyway, let's go to these coastal defences along here. See what the progress is. They're doing a very good job. I think I'm right in saying it's only a temporary sort of emergency patch and repair type job. It's quite a hefty bit of work that's been done. Um, but I think there's a bigger scheme coming. Uh, if they can get the money from central government, which uh, is always a struggle. Especially with the uh, current context but yeah they're working out there already this morning they really do get out on these defenses early every morning and uh, done a really good job let's uh, zoom in I'm not going to be able to get that close that's as far as I can zoom in This way a little bit. Currently can't get very lot, very far along here, but uh, let's go as far as we can go. A 
lovely little chalets. Used to do a lot of fishing along here. Um, my parents almost bought one of these chalets when they were about 13 or 14 thousand pounds each. Now they're worth over a hundred thousand. Well, they cost over a hundred thousand. Um, yeah, one of the one of their favourite little spots back in the day. Uh, so they've done some work here, filled in the gaps that had appeared. So they're clearly getting it ready for people to be able to walk along here. Repairing some of the concrete. Yeah, so it's certainly looking as though they're going to be reopening this little section as well. I have to say I did have my doubts about whether it would be really feasible to open given the state of that bit over there that I'm pointing at, which is still open to the public. Um, but they've done a patch of men there as well. They're patching up and mending it, which uh, does mean all this can be reopened, which is really good. And they've filled in the gaps that were here last week with cement. So, yeah, it's all looking very uh, close to being completed really good right here comes a bit more drizzle so head back this way I think might film from the other side as well if I've got time it's play car park now I'm just going to go along this way and see if I can view the sea defenses from this side look at their progress lots of a red valerian in flower now which is lovely to see never attracts many insects this stuff but uh, the hummingbird hawk moths do love it so you can get around here to the old skate park but uh can't get any further along so let's just go as far as you can go see how things are looking Swift screaming above. A few more of those in today. So I'm not really going to see much from this end, but uh. Yeah, it's a Saturday, so it's good to see they're working. Gosh, this, uh, this crack here in the skate park has uh, widened since last time I was here. Slightly disconcerting. It's as far as I can get now, but uh, yeah, it's looking good. So with any luck, this will all be reopened in a week or two or three. God, this really has cracked here.
So it'd be great when this opens and people can just basically walk from the Eastern Esplanade car park up to Bond Church. Should, uh, should help some of the businesses down on the Esplanade that are really struggling. And also uh, the Seapot down at Wheelers Bay. But uh, yeah, they're doing a really good job. Let's go back down to the bay and get another coffee, I think. So the sky is looking very murky today. We've had kind of drizzle on and off all morning. It's kind of uh, dry at the moment. I can feel a few spits and spots, but it's essentially dry. I've got a free a day today and I was hoping to go somewhere further afield and get a video, but weather isn't ideal for that. There's a, uh, see if I can remember how to zoom in. Blake's yellow fishing boat coming in. It's catamaran. Should probably have used the uh, external microphone today because it's a bit breezy. Followed along the beach by the raven. 